The case in which Adondo East Member of Parliament, Robert Chagwani, commonly known as Bobby Wine, and more than 30 others accused of treason has been put on hold for another two months. Now on Monday, when the suspects appeared for mention of their case, Golu Grade 1 Magistrate Yusuf Funduwalana went on to adjourn the case until December 3rd at the request of the State Prosecutor Julius Ochen. This court is alert to the fact that uh, other accused we are granted bail by the High Court of Kulu, by the High Court of Uganda, so that Kulu, and is persuaded beyond shadow of doubt that the other accused will definitely get bail. The court is also alleged the fact that the accused are traveling long distances, that is from Kulu, rather from Arua and Kampala respectively. And because of the above, the matter is going to be at the end of the third day of December. And we believe that is important for the state to do in the Senate. His team wanted more time for investigations. Prior, all the suspects were charged with treason after being implicated in the chaotic episodes in the lead up to the August 15th Arom Spite by election, including the attack of the president's convoy. 33 of them, including Bobby Wine, were later granted bail late August. The legislator's bodyguard, Edward Sebufu, and Awan Musa Senyange were, however, remanded to Gulu Central Prison after being charged with treason in September. The suspect's legal team planned to apply for bail so they could also be released, like they are co-accused. Well, they are hampering the work, but uh, fortunately, we have been given a long adjournment. We hope that uh, by 3rd December, the state will have completed with its investigations. If they don't, then we'll be formally moving to have this case dismissed. Yeah, we have two comrades in here, Eddie Mutu and another. Uh, our legal team is still uh, working hard to make sure that they also get their temporary freedom like we did, which we believe, uh, looking at the precedent that was set on our cases, they will get their freedom pretty soon. But again, I want to uh, reassert that we are determined to chase violence and to chase um, um, justice and to make sure this matter is followed to the end. What we know is, as far as this is a, a, a capital offense, the law is very clear. If they cannot, within uh, the next six months, right from the time when uh, this offense was alleged to have been committed, if they cannot uh, complete the investigations and uh, refer us or commit us to high, uh, high court for trial, then the whole charge falls along the way. That's the law. So therefore, we are going to continue coming here religiously to prove our innocence to this country. And we pray that they, they speed up their process of, of investigations. And indeed, as it looks as of now, if they are not ready, because there is actually no evidence to be collected anyway, then let them come back to court and lose interest in this matter so that uh, we are, are set free. Otherwise, it's a real bother for us to travel all these long distances, coming here every other month, and to just assure court that we are still around and we have the chance to pay. And furthermore, I'm even more than pleased today that the court, in its own wisdom, has been able to extend and, uh, uh, and, and, and reverse the suspects include other legislators who are Jared Karuhanga of Ntunga Municipality, Paul Muiru, Ginger East, and Cassiano Wadri for Arua Municipality. Another legislator, Francis Zake of Mitiana Municipality, did not appear in court, but early September had police refer charges of treason and unlawful escape from custody against him. The bedridden legislator was then released on police bond. Zagher reportedly declined to sign the police bond form, which required him to report at the Criminal Investigations Department headquarters this week on Wednesday, which is October the 3rd.